Greetings, Greetings. This is Masha. And Masha. And we want to talk to you about the Black Love School. Specifically, we want to talk about the five W's and the H, the who, where, what, when, why, and how. <laughs> so, so, let's get started. All right. Well, who is Black Love School for? Hmm. So, the Black Love School is for um, couples and singles who are looking to master the art and science of Black love culture. They want to enhance the quality of their relationship or and or enhance themselves so that they can get themselves into the relationship of their dreams. That's one of the who's. Who, who would you say it's for? I'd say it is for anyone who has ever said, I wish I would have known this before I got into a relationship. Mm. <laughs> I wish I would have known this before my last relationship ended. Mm. Or I just wish somebody, anybody, would have told me how to talk to a man, how to talk mm. to a woman, how to be in love, what love is. All of those things that you kind of think about after you're in the thick of things. That's right. who Black Love School is for. Right, right, right. I love that. Okay, so um, what exactly is the Black Love School? Um, the Black Love School is an online portal. It's a it's an online meeting of couples and singles from all around the world. Literally, um, we come together um, weekly, um, two times a month. We have master classes, and then two times a month we have live calls around those master classes, and we share and we um, exchange information um, about. The hard work that is involved in those master classes, and it's it's something that I have never seen before anywhere <laughs> in the world. Um, being a creator of it, we we were striving to create something that doesn't exist. Um, it's no blame game. It's no hatred. It's a, it's really a love situation where we're coming together and we're really sharing just about what makes relationships work. Because ultimately, after all the complaining stops, that's what people want to know. Right. I think it's the perspective on all those things that you weren't taught. So mm -hmm. I think it's really important to get the perspective so that you shift and you do better. You show up better in a relationship. Right. I also think um, the Black Love School is all the things that you don't know <laughs> yet. Mm -hmm. So sometimes when we're reflective, we do know. Mm -hmm. I didn't know this or this other person didn't know this or we didn't know this. but. There are so many other things that you don't even know that you don't know right. that would really help you enhance whatever it is that you think are the most important relationships. So mm -hmm. although it is Black Love School, although the highlight is on um, the art and science of Black Love culture, and we are most known for helping you find and keep your soulmate, these fundamental relationship skills from a cultural perspective are going to help you in any relationship. So the personal, the neighborhood relationship, the, the crew, sister yeah. to sister, brother to brother, the family, the work, right. but definitely your intimate right. relationship. And I would say finally, what Black Love School is, very interestingly, as we are um, clinical therapists and also um, cultural initiates, the Black Love School is a group counseling situation. Um, that's something that a lot of people from the outside say, oh, that's not something I'm interested in or it's too probing or I don't want to reveal myself. But something happens when you get into a love environment. You see what's missing because we don't have community around love. And that's very, very important yeah. because a lot of people come in from the outside. Like, so we invite them in to check it out. Come to a free live call and see what it's absolutely like. And nine times out of 10, everybody's hooked. And it's something that they want to come back to because it's a refreshing um, departure from a lot of the relationship stuff that you see. The goal here is to be as great as you can. So all the conversation, all the classes, all the information, the enlightenment, and the sharing is from that standpoint. It's not about, you know, the shame of hiding something or not telling something. So we don't really understand how much we need group counsel because we got group problems and we see the same problems with, with black couples and singles all around the world. So I would say it's group counseling. And the other thing I would say <laughs> is that it is initiation, um, cultural initiation. And, you know, um, as I know, Nawasha has been in so many different initiations 
um, just recently coming back from one in Africa, it's very important culturally that we get um, the information that's not taught in school or that you don't see commonly in American culture. So it is group counseling, community, though. community and cultural initiation. Mm -hmm. So I think that, you know, you touched on the win a little bit mm -hmm. and that there are two master classes that happen mm -hmm. um, live every month mm -hmm. and two master classes, well, the Q&A of the master class happens live every month, but two classes drop monthly. Um, but also, you know, they're recorded. So mm -hmm. you're able to check in with them, even if you can't catch the live master class, mm -hmm. you can still benefit from the community. And I think that that's really important because it's on demand. So right. essentially you have perspective on demand, you can do your hard work whenever you can fit it in within um, the two weeks of each class, but you also can go back to it because you once you're in the community with the classes, you can access it whenever you want. Right. From a cell phone, from a laptop, while traveling. Um, there's never a reason to not be working on yourself when it comes to love. Absolutely. But also the thing that I think is really important is that the work that we do around love is, because it's an initiation, it's matched with our natural rhythm. So we go by the seasons when right. we are dropping the courses and what we're focusing on, because this is kind of what's in your subconscious mind. And sometimes um, it's it's overt, you know, around the holidays. Definitely, mm -hmm. we have a certain um, vibe that comes along from the holidays into our relationships. Love school. We drop yeah. certain courses in the spring, which is all about you know renewal and healthy beginnings and it's called the spring in, the spring, spring into, into love, love semester. semester yes in the spring yes and then we have the summer right the heat of love semester yes which is all about sex and passion and intimacy um and healing of course mm -hmm. again from cultural perspective mm -hmm. then we have the fall it's the harvest of love semester <laughs> and this is all about friends and family and how those things intertwine into our intimate relationships because no intimate relationship is an island. So you have to factor in those things and know where boundaries, lines, and all of those things are appropriate. And so that's what we deal with throughout the fall. And then in the winter, we have what we call the culture of love semester. And this is high science, high cultural, spiritual science around the relationship, the machinations of the inner workings of a relationship and the alignment of mind, body and soul as it relates to the relationship. So now I think we covered the who, the why, the what, the what, no, <laughs> the, the who, the what, the when. And Not so here. let's talk about the where. So, um, the Black Love School obviously takes place on the um, portal. As Nawasha said, you can access it from anywhere. Because we have members from all over the place, um, you know, it's all pre-recorded and you can access it at any time. So where is anywhere you are? Um, but specifically, let's talk about some of the places that the students from the Black Love School are. Um, Cause this is really amazing. Um, so we have. So this is really the diaspora. Yeah, we right? really have um, students from Canada, from Tobago, from Jamaica, from Haiti, Australia. from Australia, from Mexico, the UK, the UK, um, Tanzania, um, Ghana, New Zealand. Um, New Zealand shout, out. shout out. So it's really course, you know Detroit, Chicago, um, LA. Um, New York, uh, Philadelphia, strong contingency from there, um, Miami, um, and all around the South and Florida, Texas. So this is a, a, unlike any other thing that I have personally seen, it's a group of people coming together from all different backgrounds. And what, what we all begin to see is what Nawash and I have been seeing for the last 15 years is that we all really only have about four or five problems. And, um, those problems are the same. And so when we come together as a community, we're relieved to understand that. And then we can borrow from the best practices and find answers to our challenges. So that's what I love about it. That that live element, unquestioned, is the most popular part of the Black Love School. 
And it makes it really universal and when you're talking about your initiation. It's Absolutely. like you just see that there are certain things, like Masha said, certain challenges that permeate through the diaspora, but there are also um, certain gifts, you know, mm -hmm. certain perspectives mm -hmm. and certain healing that can work and we can really have a global shift in our relationships. Yes. Why are we doing this? Yeah, so <laughs> I, I, I would say it's so many whys as to why we're doing this kind of work. Um, in this kind of style in the Black Love School. I think one is to bridge the gap of community um, for me. Also to show people that we're stronger together. We learn faster when we're together. Um, and the more we can reveal, the more we heal. So those are some of my whys. <laughs> uh, I think my biggest why is to have solutions, you know? Mm -hmm. So I know there's certain things that worked for me personally, mm -hmm. that worked for us mm -hmm. in relationship. Mm -hmm that have worked for our individual clients. And, you know, we have been resonating in a time of awareness right. for a while right now on the planet. But what we really want to move to is a time of action. And you got to take action with yourself first. Right. Of course, this is our um, relationship alchemy and relationship right. algebra. When you change as one factor, the whole relationship changes. Mm -hmm. um, but I really think that this is a major why. Why is the program set up the way it is? Why is it international? Why is it a community? All of those things really work to activating and embodying healing in the best way possible. And this is part of the cultural initiation too, that it's experiential, but getting this in a group and resonating in a group, vibrating in a group is part of how we teach and how we learn. Right. And I, when I say we, I mean us as a people. Right, 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 right. I think that's very important. And so, what about now the how? Yes. Um, how do <laughs> how how does it work? How does one get involved, and how do you benefit? Um, how, what would you say? I would say you sign up. <laughs> so first, of course, you can check out any of our uh, free classes, our complimentary classes, to see how we deliver information and how the heart work is set up. Mm -hmm. uh, but the how is first. If you are listening to this, you probably want to improve a relationship in your life. Right. First, starting with the relationship with yourself, of course. Right. And then going to others, having more understanding and understanding what love is and what your legacy of love is going to be. Mm -hmm. That's our acronym for soul. Mm -hmm. Self, others, understanding, and love and love legacy. Um, so how is you're already here. You already are answering a call to fall upon the sound right. of our voices, right. but the next thing is to really sign up and you can benefit from one of our free classes and mm -hmm. just go solo so what, for a what, minute. What are the free classes? Let them know. What you can the get a class in a coma day, of mm -hmm. course, which is uh, the cultural alternative to Valentine's Day mm -hmm. and insight into um, the art and science of black love culture. Mm -hmm. You can also uh, check out the Decolonize Your Love course, which is extremely important yes, for because all we're all really people. suffering from colonization mm -hmm. and the way that we interact with each other. So decolonizing love is around several different factors, but just that information can really help you make a change mm -hmm. once you are aware of the areas that we're colonizing. Mm -hmm. And then one that is very important, again, is the self-care class, which there's a lot of conversation about self-care out in the world right now. And I do believe that it helps your relationship, but a lot of it is focused on our physical care and our personal mental health. I definitely see that's a bigger conversation with black people today. Mm -hmm. um, but self-care is multifaceted and it's not about isolation. So although you have to take care of yourself, we're still very much a citizen of the diaspora, a citizen right. of our families, our communities you know, our partnerships, right. and sometimes we can, in the name of protection, isolate ourselves and call it self-care. So although I love a bubble bath, right, right, right. <laughs> I'm an introvert, I can easily isolate with no problem. You know, we really have to learn how to care for ourselves in front of others, especially when it comes to the intimate relationship so that people know how to care for us. And we also have to, you know, be out loud about our self-care. It doesn't mean loud, but demonstrate, you know, right, embody absolutely. it on a daily basis. How you can use the Black Love School would be for your own education, obviously, for your, for the edification of other people that are in your life and if you're the type of person who is dealing in a relationship where you feel one-sided, 
Um, Because a lot of people say that the beauty of the black love school is it is relationship algebra where you are the X. And if you change, the rest of the equation changes. And so you can use the relationship, you can use the Black Love School classes and the live calls to get better, even in the absence of your partner. And that's very, very important because, you know, a couple can get clean without taking a shower together. They can get full without eating together. (laughs) They can reach a place, um, a destination without driving together. And they can definitely improve their relationship without starting their relationship empowerment together at the same time. So um, if you use it, if you if you use what you learn, the whole relationship will benefit. And I think that that's very important and something that we see in the Black Love School. Yes, another how is how does it actually happen that you make the transformation? Mm. And that's really through the heart work. Mm-hmm. You know, listening is one thing, it's a level of awareness, but we are talking about mind and heart unity right. and embodying and really changing for the transformation and elevation. So it really happens when you do the work. So we're just, we're guides and we're partners in the community, right. but the transformation is going to happen. Um, that how are your relationships going to be better it's going to be when you really do the hard work and embody the person that you want to be and the relationships that you want to have absolutely now you know about the who where what when and why at least some of it and how (laughs) (laughs) so now it's time to just join and and become a member check it out Um, the investment forty two dollars so, um, in the spirit of my eye, we kept the price point to a place way down that everybody can grab it. So now, it's time for you to come on in and join the Black Love School. Check it so out. So, we will see you soon. Until that time, as always, greeting you in peace, we say, Mia Get that Black Love School on.